Apple devices are one of the most wanted gifts every single year. So in today's video, I wanna talk about Apple Card monthly installments, which is one of the best and easiest way to buy Apple devices interest-free. We'll be going over how Apple monthly installments work, including examples, requirements, eligible Apple devices, my personal experience, alternatives, and cons of using this feature. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Apple or anything like that. I've just used this feature before and have found huge value in it, and I feel like you guys may as well. For those who aren't familiar, Apple Card monthly installments is an Apple Card feature that lets you finance Apple products. In other words, pay for them little by little without paying interest. On top of no interest, you'll also get 3% cash back upfront for your Apple purchases, so it'll be as if you got a nice discount as well. Now, since this is an Apple Card feature, you must have the Apple credit card to use it. If you don't already have an Apple Card, you can easily apply for one online or on your iPhone through the Wallet app. Now that we're all on the same page, let's talk about how this feature works, including some examples. For those who do have the Apple Card, all you have to do is select Apple Card monthly installments as your payment method when you go to check out. Each device you finance will have its own installment plan and depending on the device you buy, you'll have anywhere from six to 24 months to pay it off with no interest. Keep in mind that monthly installments only include the price of Apple items. Shipping and taxes are not included, which means they'll be charged to your card upfront on the day of your purchase. In other words, you'll only be financing the price of the Apple items. For example, if you wanna finance this new iPhone, once you add it to your bag, you'll be able to see an estimate of your monthly payment amount, your finance period, and the total amount you're financing. In this case, they're giving you 24 months to pay $829, which is $34.54 per month. And you'll only need to pay $5803 in shipping and taxes up front. The rest will be financed. Now, please keep in mind that this is only an estimate. The actual monthly installment amount will be shown when you check out. Now, there are some requirements to use this feature. One, you must have an Apple Card, obviously. For those who aren't familiar, the Apple Card is an all-metal credit card with no fees that offers unlimited daily cash back, like 3% on everything you buy from Apple, 3% when you make purchases as select merchants, 2% on all purchases when you pay with Apple Pay, and 1% on all purchases when you use a physical Apple credit card to pay. To learn more about it, feel free to watch this video next. Two, your Apple Card's credit limit needs to be high enough to cover your full purchase. That's because your full purchase amount will be subtracted from your Apple Card's credit limit and each item you finance will then be charged to your Apple Card monthly. For example, if you want to buy this iPhone, you'll need a credit limit of about $888 in order to cover this purchase and be able to finance it. And the same rule applies to any other Apple product you want to finance. The good news is that if you're in a situation where your credit limit is too low, you may be able to ask for a credit limit increase on your Apple Card with only a soft pull. So to learn more about that, feel free to watch this other video next. Now, monthly installments are billed on the last day of each month, but you can always make extra payments if you like, as long as you've paid the minimum balance on your Apple credit card. Personally, I like to make extra payments because I don't like to owe a lot on my cards, but that's just me. Now let's quickly go over the Apple products you can buy using Apple Card monthly installments, their financing period, my personal experience, and cons of using this feature. As you can see on the screen, you can finance iPhones or Apple Watches for 24 months, iPads, Macs, and Displays for 12 months, Apple TV, AirPods, and Beats for six months, and Apple accessories for 12 months. So you can pretty much finance almost every Apple product you can think of interest-free. Now, personally, I've bought three Apple devices using this feature, two AirPods and a Mac. For the AirPods, they gave me six months to pay them off. The first pair cost $159, sold $26.50 per month, and the second pair was $129, sold $21.50 every month. And for the Mac, they gave me 12 months to pay off $12.99, which was $108.25 per month. So overall, I've had nothing but a great experience using this feature, and I honestly have zero complaints about it so far. Lastly, let's talk about cons of using this feature. One, financing Apple products this way may affect your credit utilization, which may hurt your credit score. Simply put, if your Apple Card's limit is 1K and you finance an $800 phone, your utilization would go up to 80%, which is not good. You should always maintain a utilization rate under 30% for credit score growth. Keep in mind that if you have a higher credit limit on your Apple credit card or an overall higher limit across multiple credit cards like me, this will have little to no effect on your credit score. For example, if your Apple card's limit is 15K and you spend the same $800, your utilization would only be 5%, so it really wouldn't affect your credit score much, like I said before. Two, you must have the Apple card to use this feature. For those who would like to use this feature but don't really want the Apple credit card, this might be a problem. And three, there might be better alternatives for financing Apple products. 
For example, with the Chase Freedom Unlimited, you get a $200 welcome bonus after spending $500, 1.5% back on your purchases, plus no interest for 15 months. So although you might get a shorter financing period, you'll also get a lot more value paying with this credit card due to its welcome bonus. So at the end of the day, it all depends on the credit cards you have or plan on getting. Because while I'm a huge fan of Apple Card's monthly installments, I can deny that there are many other credit cards out there with the same function that may offer more value, especially those with welcome bonuses. So overall, if you have or plan on getting the Apple credit card, Apple monthly installments is a great tool, especially if you don't wanna pay for Apple products up front and would rather finance them and earn cash back. Last thing I want to say is don't finance anything you can't afford to pay back. Only use this tool if you can afford the payments, never the other way around. Anyways, peeps, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this feature, so comment below and let me know. And if you guys made it this far into the video, comment the word Apple so I know who my real besties are. And if you guys are interested in signing up for great credit card offers or earning some extra cash back plus $30 with Rakuten, make sure to check out the links down in the description. It'll help my channel out like crazy. I love you guys. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. That way I never miss out on any future uploads. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to watch this other one next. Okay, bye now.